What up YouTube, Nate here, and today we're going to be looking at a recent acquisition. We're going to be looking at the Deadpool PVC Diorama. I actually recently saw this on EB Games website. I was looking for a companion piece for my Venom statue. And in looking at a PVC statue of Spider-Man, they also had this Deadpool. I'm calling it a statue. I don't know why they call it a diorama. <laughs> I saw this statue of Deadpool and I thought you know that looks really amazing in the picture anyways online so I went down to EB games like in person and the first thing I thought of when I saw this figure was damn that is the ugliest box I have ever seen you know that uh, Bruce Lee movie where I think Bruce Lee is like educating a pupil and he hits him in the head for looking at his finger when he's pointing to the sky or whatever and he tells his student don't focus on the finger for you may miss all the heavenly glory and that's what this box is this box is giving you the finger and it's hiding all the heavenly glory of this PVC diorama of Deadpool I mean you look at the thing it's this muted maroon color so obviously you know they're playing off Deadpool's uh, costume color or whatever but on the shelf this thing does not like stand out you got the front window box display actually there's like two side panel displays and a top display which at first I didn't really understand why do they have these open side panels it's not like you can see the figure any better because you're obscured by the vacuum form plastic that the thing is you know being transported in but I think they probably do it because they want a, a lot of light to get in so that way when you're looking at it head on, there's more light inside the box, is what I'm assuming. Otherwise, they're idiots for putting, you know, all that plastic on the side for no reason. And the front doesn't give Deadpool any justice anyways. The plastic makes it look like there's this film over him, like he fell out of the Hulk's nose or something. But I digress. Oh, actually, I don't digress yet. The other thing that really perturbed me about this box was this gallery logo on top, which I'm assuming is the developer of this frying product. First thing I thought of when I saw this logo was this is the international symbol for fake diamonds in Chinatown. I don't trust this gallery company. Who are they? Like, <laughs> a company's logo is supposed to be like, hey, I know that symbol. It means craftsmanship. It means quality. Who the hell is gallery? I'm assuming it's a playoff of diamond distributing if you don't know what diamond distributing is it's like your comic book store is usually an affiliate and they purchase their goods that they sell from you from diamond distributing what i'm really trying to get across here is that this box does not do any favors for mr wade wilson but i will digress now this statue is sculpted by jean saint john when you peel away the layers of this onion and you actually take deadpool out of the box you might actually begin to cry in my opinion first thing I thought of when I pulled this out of the box was this thing is actually pretty hefty I'm assuming that because of the price I was expecting something really lightweight and almost cheap feeling in my hand and it's one of the reasons why I shied away from PVC statues but this thing is actually pretty dense the only accessories the diorama comes with are these two katana blades which you, know, you can put them in his hands pretty easily they're not really gonna come out once you put them on this thing looks freaking cool in my opinion. Jean St. John, you sculpted a very nice statue here. I like the pose that you chose for Deadpool. One critique I do have about the sculpting, however, I think the muscle uh, sculpt was a little too harsh, if that makes any sense. Like each of the individual muscle groups, especially in his legs, is very well defined. It almost looks comic booky, which if that was what he was going for, because obviously this is based off the comic uh, version of Deadpool, mission accomplished but for me it kind of it took away a little little bit from the sculpt but overall this thing is very well detailed one thing I was actually kind of confused about however was this base it, yeah I mean it is a base it doesn't really matter uh, the thing that actually is on the ground there the metal thing with all the little green I don't know lights on it that's fine but the smoke thing around him almost looks out of place in my opinion to me, it looks like maybe something that Doctor Strange would like poof appear with, you know. So unless this is like I don't know a smoke bomb or something, it almost doesn't make sense. On the same token, I really don't care. It adds a nice sense of motion in the statue. It really does look like he's leaping out of, you know, this this orange lava stuff. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with this statue. 
I think there's a lot of care and craftsmanship that went into making it. It all kind of works together with the paint, even with that base, I don't mind too much. And for the price, very good value in my opinion. And I picked this up from EB Games for a really cheap price, $49.99. Actually, this was on sale. I think they had problems moving it, probably because the packaging is so ugly. So keep an eye out for ebgames.ca. You could pick this up on Amazon, but I haven't seen it for, you know, as good a price that I got. But $49.99 ain't too bad, especially considering my comic book store is selling it for $10 more than EB Games is. I'm sorry, comic book store. I'm not supporting you. It's cheaper at EB Games, and I got it for even cheaper than that. So, I'm very happy to add this to the collection. Great value. Hands down. If I had to give it a, a score out of 10, solid 9 out of 10. Anyways, that's it for the statue. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I too uh, giddy for this thing? I don't know. What would you rate it out of 10? And yes, generally, I would be doing this type of video on my Nate's Reviews channel. But I think from now on, the majority of my reviews are going to be on Thrift Dweller. Long story short, I'll tell you another time about it so that's it for me nate thank you guys very much for watching you guys know what to do rate comment subscribe check us out on facebook.com forward slash thrift dwellers with an s Katana